is consistent. There's times where we haven't executed in the red zone. Um, you know, there's been times where us as an offensive line have had trouble identifying defenses because people are switching things up like crazy on us, especially after that Virginia Tech game. Um, so people are just throwing all kinds of stuff at us. And uh, I think we've done a decent job of figuring most of it out. Um, you know, as you can see by our offensive numbers, how they've gone. But there's always going to be room for improvement. You know, you always want to give JT more time. You always want to get, you know, a couple more yards here or there. And then um, you know, I think executing in the red zone was was one thing that I saw last week. Taylor, uh, Coach Herman said you displayed more nastiness a couple of weeks ago. How much is nastiness a part of your success? How, how nasty do you have to be to be successful? I mean, that's just part of playing offensive line. Like, it, it's physical up there. and. It's not an easy job description to move a guy as big as you against his will. Um, so you got you got to go out there. You got to have that mindset, that nasty mindset. You can't you know you can't play nice on offensive line. <laughs> we don't position block people. We want to move people. So I mean that's that's the name of the game. Um, coach Warner's always been big on uh, high effort, high effort guys, and then he'll coach up technique once he can get that effort out of you. So um, you know if you can get all the guys to be playing hard. Then you can coach up technique, and it's it's not near as hard, because um, you, you, the mindset of how you play can cover up bad technique sometimes. Rutgers, what did uh, seen on tape? They look like they have a veteran defense, and uh, they've played some pretty good games so far. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> just like with any team, we're going to play in the Big Ten. They're all going to have good players. They're all going to have solid players. Um, we got into their defense, practicing against it a little bit in the bye week. Um, you know, we were expecting them to blitz a lot. We're probably expecting them to throw that, that bear cover zero at us, too, because mm -hmm. everybody's been trying it. So, um, you know, we'll probably get more into their personnel today and later through this week. But, um, you know, we can't, can't overlook any team. You were a freshman, I think, <clears throat> when Rutgers they announced that Rutgers and Maryland would be joining the Big Ten. Do you have any idea of what Rutgers was, where they were, who they were? Have any impressions at all about them? Um, I mean, I, I mean, I knew who they were, but I'd never, I'd not seen a lot of them playing or anything like that. But you know, as I said, you're not you never want to overlook an opponent. Everybody's going to have good players. They have good players. Um, so you just want to have that respect for your opponent, but also realize that if we go out and do what we're supposed to do, it, that's that's going to dictate how the game's going to go. You and anybody else in that group step forward? I know we heard a lot about basically a group of six guys. Uh, because of Chase uh, kind of emerging there. Anybody else that you've noticed that might threaten to join that group here? Um, I mean, there's been a lot of guys working through in practice, uh, especially in the bye week. And, you know, whether that was coach wanted to get guys reps just to bring them along or because they're pushing for spots, you know, I, I have no way of determining that. I mean, that's for coach to say. I'm just worried about, you know, if everybody, when they're in there, is playing hard. Um, because, I mean, that's a huge, you have to want to. Yeah. And uh, that's that's coach's call to make, not mine. Taylor, do, do you guys belong in the discussion of teams people are talking about as being, you know, in that mix of, of teams that, uh, in the college football playoff? Do you guys belong in that discussion? I mean, we're just trying to go week to week right now. Um, I don't think I would want to look that far ahead to anything like that. Um, if we take care of our business, the chips will fall where they may. And I'm not going to be looking forward to or saying that we belong anywhere. I'm just going to say that if we, you know, we, we need to focus on each team week to week, and we don't need to be overlooking people. Because like I said, first time we overlook somebody, we're going to get beat, and you know, then we're going to be completely out of luck. Taylor, has anyone asked you to scout Rutgers? I mean, I'm sure you've watched some film on them by now. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably get more into their personnel and what we expect them to do this week. But we did do a little bit of their defense uh, through the bye week. We expect them to blitz us a lot. We expect them to play that bear cover zero defense as everybody's tried to do. Um, but I think this week, especially today, is where we'll really get into what we're expecting them and you know their personnel. Uh, that's when we'll start getting into that more so. Taylor, has there ever been a game, because Coach Herman keeps referring to this, that almost every game teams come out and do something y'all didn't expect mm -hmm. on defense? Has, has it been that way for five games now? I mean, just and, and how do you adjust on the fly? 
I mean, you just have to have everybody on the same page out there, and the huge thing is communication, uh, especially with our centers, because they have a lot to communicate to the line, and uh, then the tackles on the edge, you have a lot to communicate to the line, so you need to make sure everybody's on the same page, and teams have been <clears throat> throwing all kinds of stuff at us. Um, Maryland ran some defenses that I still to this day couldn't tell you what they were. Mm -hmm. I just they were so they were just really hard to identify. And, and meaning what? I mean, from the front or from what they did off the front? The front and the types of blitzes they were bringing, their yeah. alignments. Um, you know, teams have run all kinds of things against us, and um, even if we're wrong, if we're all wrong together, it usually works out for us. Yeah. Uh, that's what coach always tells us because if we're all doing the the, the same thing, uh, right or wrong. And if we're doing it hard enough, uh, you're usually going to get some positive yards out of it.